Well, I think that that's very helpful um, because I think there's a, for the typical listener of this podcast, you know, the, the online content that people see, the battles are very confusing. They're, they're distracting yeah. because people really think, oh, there's a right way and a wrong way. And it's, it sounds like the way that one can um, eat consistently over time that's healthy. Um, certainly fewer processed and sugary foods. I think yeah. almost I think everybody, everybody agrees almost, there. Yeah, almost everyone agrees on that, right? Yeah. So I, I think it is a, it's, it's a, it's calorie manipulation through some other method, right? So even, even intermittent fasting, like, you know, like you said, like I, that could be, it's, it's for people that are grazers. Like if you are a grazer and your real problem is portion control over the course of the day, but you can respond to a rule that says, no, uh, you're eating between here and here, that you can obey that rule. Well, you're not going to be able to graze during the times that you might be doing additional damage. So, um, sure, there's 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 other hormonal benefits that people will talk about from that approach. But from a longevity standpoint and habit forming standpoint, if it's fixing the habit that you're breaking too often by eating throughout, whenever you feel like you walk by food, um, it, it's good, you know, and it works. 